Oh, sh**. It's like a surprise, mother Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. Tonight, we're combining two franchises for a great versus fight. We wrapped up Aliens, and then we wrapped up Predator. Now it's time for Alien versus Predator. Ooh. And what are you expecting in this? Alien fighting Predator. I don't know if there's going to be multiple aliens versus multiple Predators, or just one on one, or. Yeah, it's just one alien is. versus one Predator. Well, could be. That's why it's called Alien versus Predator. We'll find out. We'll find out. I guess so. <laughs> like, that was dumb. I don't <laughs> All right. Um, who do you think is going to win? I don't know. I My gut says Alien, but Predator's got a lot of tools to his advantage, and we haven't really seen Alien have any weapons or tools. or. Yeah. Well, the poster uh, slogan is, whoever wins, we lose. Super. Yeah. So there's humans in this one, then? Yeah. I mean, it's not just going to be a predator running around and aliens. That's kind of no what I was dialogue. hoping. I was kind of. You're oh. just hoping for no dialogue, just aliens running around. Going, ah! I don't really think about the dialogue situation. <laughs> Somebody has to write a script, right? I guess. Yeah. What predator weapon do you think is uh, best suited for killing an alien? Well, shoulder cannon. Maybe, I mean, obviously, like the little boomerang disc, disc yeah. yeah that would be cool but i don't know if it existed in this one well, we'll find out what, you, what weapons they use in this right yeah the director of this film is someone you're familiar with can you guess jj abrams no paul ws anderson mortal Kombat and event horizon are oh, two of the geez. films we've watched on this channel of his great i, I totally forgot about that until i looked it looked it up i was like oh my god this is gonna be the third Paul Anderson movie we've watched. Super. So, you ready to rumble? Yeah, let's get into it. All right. First, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. Yeah. Check our Patreon link down below if you want early access to all our movies a week before they hit YouTube, as well as full-length movie commentary reactions. So check it out. The link's down below. Let's watch Alien vs. Predator, the unrated version. Ooh. I feel like every movie we've watched so far has been a 20th Century Fox yeah. movie. Well, they own Alien and Predator, so... Oh. Well, they did, before Disney bought them. So I guess the vast majority of them have been. Antarctica, October 10th, 1904. Seems like a very alien-esque scenario. That's a Predator sound, though. They were both there. I mean, obviously I knew that was going to happen, cause, <laughs> but still. Does not seem like a very predator-like location to be. They like yeah. it hot. Yeah, it's kind of cold, huh? Some like it hot, maybe. 1904, too. That was a really long time ago. You're telling us they've been hunting since 1904? Well, they already have shown that in Predator 2. Remember the gun? It's from 1700s. Oh, yeah, that's right. The lock that he gave him. Forgot that. I've been here for a while. Oh, Wayland. Those bastards. The company. Hey. Hey, hey. Come here. Take a look at this. Hey, 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 you. Come here. Oh, those tools are fun. Nepal. Gosh, they're bouncing all over the place, aren't they? Meek. Fire alarm? Yes, I told Mr. Wayland that. He said he didn't have a week. In exchange for a little of your time. Wayland's so slimy. <laughs> Brass Ice Shelf, Antarctica. This is the Jacob. No, oh, he's definitely gonna die. Okay. There you go. 
presumably. We could ditch. Yeah, ditch. But the temperature of the water would kill us in three minutes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, comforting. <laughs> Beakers away from the gear. What's it mean, beaker? That's what they call scientists out here. Me, me. You know, beaker, like in the Muppet Show. Everybody, <laughs> please. He kind of looks like Beaker, too. He kind of does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that skinny head. <laughs> Mr. Stafford, you're looking at the best drilling team in the world. We'll shoot you at depth in seven days. And I Wolf, the dentist, stands in. Don't remember that? Okay. Okay. Mighty Ducks 2. No. I admire your passion. I wish you were going with us. You realize that's Bishop from Aliens, right? Yeah. Okay. He's playing like the Alien 3 Wayland guys, like great great grandpa kind of. Oh. Yeah. They're definitely all gonna die, I'm guessing. <laughs> like that just feels right. That they'll all die. Ooh. Predator heads. Or, or faces. Shield. What are the. What's the helmets? Helmets. Hunter's Moon. Hunter's Moon. Mm hmm. Great. You know who's a pretty good hunter? The Predator. And the alien. Oh, geez. It's an abandoned whaling station. Don't be there by yourself. Rule number one. <laughs> Stick together, right? Like, what an idiot. Rule number one, dude. Rule number one. Super. <laughs> Flex! No one goes anywhere alone. Shh. There's something there. Listen. Oh, Jesus. Scared a little of the big one? Yeah. Hey! Oh, they're here! Oh, they're here! Giant tunnel. It's, it's like a, a perfect 30 degree angle. It's like a tremors tunnel. <laughs> there it is, clear as day. And the same time yesterday. Nothing. How was it done? Thermal equipment of some kind. I've never seen anything like it. The Predator's ship did that. <laughs> Snagged him. That was badass. Pretty risky. <laughs> Ship was stealthy. When well, the predator their ship was invisible, right? This is like the descent all over again. <laughs> Good caves. It's a theme for this week. I guess. I don't understand it. No equipment. No sign of another team. Looks like you'll be leaving your mark after all. Look like there's somebody sitting up there with a staff. Oh. Hmm. Uh oh. It woke a sleeping giant. Ugh. 
That's a mother. Queen? A queen. Oh, sh**. Looks like one cold-hearted bitch. Why are the predators keeping a queen in this thing? What do the predators like to do? Keep trophies and hunt. Again, why is he alone? Fucking cool. It's like a fun slide. Yeah. Except until you hit the bottom. This is the sacrificial chamber. What are those? Just like the Aztecs and the Egyptians. Whoever built this pyramid believed in ritual sacrifice. This is where the chosen ones were offered to the gods. Jesus, that's a lot of chosen ones. Oh God. I mean, don't touch anything. Is this in between Aliens 2 and 3? Or after Aliens 3? It's after Alien Resurrection. Okay. Ever seen anything like it? No, because it's an alien creature. <laughs> they gave their lives so the hunt could begin. It's common in ritual sacrifice to take the heart of the victim. No, an a alien popped right out of it. Great! Ooh, oh, they're doing an Easter egg hunt. That's Little. what it is. Forgot how much I hated the alien things. Those are big fellas. They're also now killing unarmed things, so this isn't about a hunt for them now. They're protecting what is oh, theirs. They're waiting for that one guy to grab the gun before they shot him. This should be directly below the sacrificial chamber. What gave it away? The glow stick or <laughs> something's gonna jump out. Predator cannons. We'll run further tests on the surface. No! No! Then touch them! Watch out! The doors! I mean, have these people never seen Indiana Jones before? <laughs> like, don't touch Unless you got an evenly weighted thing to replace it with. Temples 101. Don't touch anything. Never move it. Oh, sh**. It's like a surprise, mother <laughs> This is your chance to prove yourself, huh? Oh, there's way too many of them. Only one of them has a gun. Oh, I hate these things. Yeah, little do you know there's an alien creature inside of you now. Oh, it's happening early. Everyone's favorite part of alien, huh? Oh, God. That's pretty f elaborate. 
I am not a soldier, but I think you should calm it down now. Really? I'm not dead yet, okay? I mean, at least you don't have aliens coming out of your chest, right? It's like freaking maze hunter sort of situation. It's like a big freaking game. But we are rats in a maze. What's that kid show called? Maze Runner? Maze Runner? Yeah. Maybe this is like that. I think they're the cheese. Oh. Um... Right? Yeah. Which one's the mouse, though? Get me out of here! It's okay! I'm gonna find a way to get down to you, okay? Behind it! Oh, God. He goes to. Oh, well, you're right about him. Yeah, I think I'm right about all of them. blood man so that's two predators down there was only three of them yeah. right that, that one alien took out two of them Jesus if they'd have their cannons it probably would have been a little different story yeah maybe there's another Come with us. The These aren't even the ones you should really be afraid of. You should be afraid of those f aliens. Yeah, you just pissed him off. We keep it together. We make it to the surface. Just leave the damn gun. Oi, caramba. Holy moly. Told you that little blade was gonna be the game changer here. He's marking himself. Is this starting to make sense? Can you imagine what the alien coming out of a predator is gonna look like? gonna be gigantic and we're worshipped as gods 
Every hundred years, the gods would return. Humans were used to breed the ultimate prey. They made sure nothing survived. The entire civilization wiped out overnight. Get ready, here it comes, right for your face. Oh, God. Don't worry, there's like 8,500,000 more of them. Oh. Should have just used one bullet on himself. That would have <laughs> saved. He's got an alien inside of him, though. Hi, Corona. Where's that self destruct button? We need the big self destruct bomb. That's what we need here. <laughs> This movie is over, right? Like, there are no other options here. It's either destroy all or all be destroyed. We just need to destroy it all. He's like, man, my stomach kind of hurts. You hit me. I was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? They made a weapon for her. It's like, help mama get out of these chains. <laughs> I'm using the head as a shield. Is that what's happening? Ugh. Too late. It's inside me. I'm gonna get you out of here. You can't. No. 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 no let him. No. No. I have to help him. Oh. Oh, hurry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why don't you just let the big fella take care of it? <laughs> Did you did you see those reflexes? He was like and fantastic. Big mama's loose. Oh god, get the f out of there. It's a bomb. Go. I hope he saved one more of those bombs. You are an ugly mother. <laughs> nice callback. We've got two other major problems here. One of which, Big Mama's loose. 
Right, Big Mama is loose and out of there. Problem number two is that guy was face sucked already. So he's got a baby alien inside of him and it's gonna be a predator alien. Oh God. Mm-hmm. He's like, what's it, Mark you? Oh, okay. You gotta respect the alien customs when he's a, a little bit bigger than you like that. <laughs> He was like, oh, shit. Didn't see that one coming. That bitch is big. Where is Sigourney when you need her? Tell me they just arrived and that they just weren't watching all of this happen to see how it played us out. Mm. God, he's so ugly. Just don't poke your eye with that thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna like take her to her ship, you guys. It's kind of a long walk. <laughs> She's gonna get cold pretty fast yeah. too. The fact that she's not hypothermic already is pretty surprising. <laughs> oh, her little... There's a crawler there. Yeah. Uh. Hence, Alien versus Predator 2. Two, yeah. Oh, man. The, with the Pred Alien. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to seeing that fella. It's an alien with the little mandible on it. It's gonna be like the most disgusting looking alien ever. Yep, we'll watch that next week. So what do you think? Well, I think this movie more than any anything just solidifies that I like Predator a lot more than I like Aliens. <laughs> yeah. And it's just because of the Predator's code, right? Yeah. Their code of sorts. You Their can't honor code. Exactly. Yeah. You can't hate a creature that has that kind of honor code so uh but you can hate a creature that just murders destroys and chest bursts everything in its path right like <laughs> aliens okay. they're the worst so did it play out as you expected no, no. i thought all of them were, were gonna die okay. so i guess i can maybe understand why some people would dislike prometheus and the whole alien subline after, like, sort of developing a preferential subtext. Yeah, a hive kind of mythology to it, right? There's a queen and lays eggs and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this kind of... Prometheus and Co Covenant kind of changed that. Yeah, a right? little bit. Mm -hmm. And then also Prometheus with the whole creator situation. Yeah. It kind of butts its head with this it, movie. Yeah, who's now saying that Predator is yeah. kind of like the creator. But that's also kind of cool because yeah. I mean, religions from the beginning of time have kind of... Been about, you know, are we worshipping something from you know, the heavens? Right. right. In a way, I think you could still say Prometheus and this can coexist in the same universe. I think so, yeah. Because yeah. the theory is David didn't necessarily invent the aliens, right? No, no, no. He just... He, got to their point of evolution right with his experiments they were like they're already GMO aliens yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah mm. yeah but uh the whole like aliens being on earth why are we like trying to find them on other planets when there's probably maybe there's another hidden pyramid somewhere with an alien queen with right? another alien mother and, and this is kind of like this is where wayland kind of got the first notion that there's something out there they're 
and they get crazy about trying to find it again. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it does a good job of mixing the two worlds. The two worlds. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah very interesting. Do you think? You th- did you feel like that was a good execution of? I think so. Yeah. It felt it like gave, an alien movie, but a predator movie. Yep, exactly, time. and gave enough like backstory of both. To make it believable yeah. in a way. No, I thought they did a great job with it, actually. I don't dislike this movie at all. I dislike the aliens yeah. in the movie, but that's just because they're so freaking creepy. Yeah. I just can't they handle scare it. You. Yeah. So what are you expecting for the sequel? Well, they kind of allude to the yeah. fact that it's going to be... the, the a, pred alien from this yeah, spawn. I would imagine. And what? Where do we go from here? I have they're, no they're idea. In space, so do you have any idea? No, I have no clue. No, no estimates. Probably catch up with the Event Horizon and <laughs> do some other weird shit. <laughs> now, there's lots of Predator fans out there mm-hmm. who know the mythos of the yeah, Predator. Yeah, lots of comments on Predator mythos. A lot of comic Which book readers out I there that very know much a lot appreciate because I have no idea what the hell's going on most of the We've time. We've learned a lot about Predator the last couple of weeks yeah. watching these movies from you guys in the comments. So, so I'd like to know what kind of Predator these ones were because yeah. there's different types i want to know things. what the viewers think with the spines like why do these ones have spiny faces yeah. like the facial hair that is kind of like little sp- pokey hairs yeah. yeah like does that mean a different kind of breed or or what's the deal what's the mythos behind and who was that, that guy in the end with the cape was that like the grand supreme leader of the predators give us some more predator details all you predator experts out there and uh, if you're an alien fan let us know how you feel this uh, fits in the alien canon prior to Prometheus or with Prometheus. Do you think this movie still fits with the timeline, the grand timeline of schemes, or is it kind of its own universe? And nowadays? do you like this because it, do you hate Prometheus because of this, or, <laughs> yeah. or are they not tied together? Does this add to your original aliens mythology, or does it go on its own? Let us know in the comments down below. Right? Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining. Yep. Yeah. Hit that. Like button, smash it with a predator weapon or an alien tail or a mandible, right? Or just touch it, just push it. Uh, It's good too. Just click it, right? And check out our Patreon link down below if you want the full length reaction to this movie, as well as early access to all our videos on YouTube a week before they hit YouTube. Until next time, have a good one, folks. Bye.